It's a fantastic venue and they've got a great offer here. You know, weddings, accommodation, they've got room to take, business tourism. And I think what we've found over the last few years is it's the quality market, the sort of top range facilities in Yorkshire that have ridden the recession and are moving forward. And there's still great scope to work with people like the guys here at Rugby. And I hope, you know, it'll be a long partnership with Welcome to Yorkshire. They've got the facilities here that you could get international and national conferences. And these days, I think people are looking for those slightly different venues where there is a little bit of exclusivity, where not necessarily off the beaten track, but if you've got big players come in, they want that privacy. And here, it's fantastic for that on the business front and conference front. I think that, you know, the product's right, the facilities, they've got the same fantastic management team. They're expanding so they've got more bedrooms coming on stream so they'll be able to take more people and stay here. So I think it's just really now getting more people to know about them and to make sure that they grow the business. Well, I didn't take any persuading really to come here. The owners came to see me uh, a couple of years ago at my constituency surgery. Anybody in my constituency can come and see me. And it's part of an MP's job to promote business in their constituency, to encourage people in things that they're doing. Part of that is going around opening things. Uh, and so I very happily agreed when I heard about the project, about what they were going to achieve, how well they were going to restore the building. That was over two years ago, and so you can easily forget about these things, but then people come back and say, you said you were coming, so I'm here and very pleased to be here. It's, it's important that our historic buildings like this are preserved for the future, and this is great for tourism in the area that is thriving now. Uh, Yorkshire is really on the world map for many reasons, uh, Tour de France, our achievements in the Olympics, and just being a fantastic area. And so it's, it's a great pleasure to be here. I'm the general manager here at Rugby Hall and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here to the venue today for our official opening event. So we'd just like to take this opportunity to now introduce to speak to you today one of the owners of Rugby Hall, Martin Johnson. Thank you. Uh, thank you Wendy. Uh, it gives me uh, a great deal of pleasure to stand here today and uh, welcome you all to the opening of uh, Ruby Hall. And I feel very proud that uh, our small company, Python Properties, has been able to deliver and enhance this beautiful uh, building uh, and set it up with a sustainable future that will last for generations to come. Um, this is the fourth historic building that we've uh, restored and our idea, our vision, is to create uh, a world-class venue for local people to come for events uh, and accommodation for people in Yorkshire uh, and beyond. Um, and I think it's, we've done a couple of weddings now and the hall is taken to its new role with Gusto. Um, the reaction of people when they come is absolutely fantastic. It's been some very happy memories we've made here already. And very shortly we'll be opening as a and b during the week um, for, with our six bedrooms uh, and our 13 bedrooms uh, next year. <laughs> I once lived at Rugby Hall. I was a little bit sad when I left, but I knew I would have a new adventure in my new home. I have lots of good memories thanks to Mama and Daddy and my brother Jack for making me a nice life. One of my best memories is climbing into Mama and Daddy's big bed every day. <laughs> for sure, I will get married there one day. Well, it is the only best place I know, so I think I'll give it a try, and I hope you will too. <laughs> Well, it's a great pleasure to be here today. Thank you very much for inviting me to join you. I remember the promise I made uh, more than two years ago uh, to be here. And I'm only going to say a few words before having the duty of unveiling the 
uh, plaque here, and we'll see just how well it is screwed to that wall. <laughs> Pull on there. There have already been some very good speeches, but the best was by Charlie. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I thought I was young when I started. <laughs> when I was 16, uh, and I still have the cartoon on the wall at home where the chairman is saying, be patient, the next speaker is just having their nappies changed. <laughs> but um, I think Charlie's a good half of mine. Uh, and so she will be an MP quite soon. <laughs> and, um, and, uh, but they, they've all spoken very, very well about this building and its prospects and about Yorkshire. Uh, and I'm delighted to be here to assist in the opening, partly because it is the very sympathetic and successful restoration of an important building. Uh, we are fortunate in North Yorkshire to have many fine halls, castles, places of enormous historic interest, and it is important that they are maintained, restored, and are here for future centuries. Uh, this one is done very well, bearing in mind the, the history, the, the history of that period when it was built, the time of King William IV, even the name of his mistress is faithfully remembered in the name of one of the bedrooms. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll have to work that one out. Um, and uh, it's very, very well done, so it, it's great for this area for the future. Secondly, I hope it will be a thriving business, and it should be. And when you look at it, I've just looked at um, some of the rooms up there, the bridal suite and so on, and uh, really when you step out on the balcony there and look over the, out at the Cleveland Hills, you are there the morning after your wedding. You would, if you didn't already think you'd arrive in heaven, you would when you, <laughs> <laughs> when you went out on the balcony. Uh, so it will work very well as a bridal suite. Uh, so I hope it will be a very successful business. It's been very, very capable. Hands, and that is good. The other reason, and we've just been hearing about it from Welcome to Yorkshire, that is good for our economy, for tourism in this area. So, Yorkshire is a great place to visit, it is a great place to have your wedding, it's a great place to come and have bed and breakfast, it's a great place to know people, and all of these things can be enjoyed now in Rugby Hall. Right, so, right we declare Rugby Hall officially open. There we are. older and known uh, other people have use of this hall and the businesses that have taken over this hall um, I've seen things change it is so refreshing to have someone come along with a vision and now the community are happy the community of Scutter Skelf which is all, all that's outside these walls are happy that they've got an ongoing dialogue two lovely people with um, Wendy and her husband and, and people who own this who really want the best for the architecture, for the surrounding area, and for the people who live here. Isn't that good news? It doesn't happen very often, you know. I think they're brilliant. And what is quite difficult is to add, physically add to properties like this. Quite difficult to do and to keep in sympathy with the original building ready that they should be restored uh, sympathetically and in many cases taken back to where they were when they were first built. The setting here is amazing, isn't it? Uh, looking out from the bridal suite across the hills there, absolutely fabulous. It's a lovely day too, which is nice. They seem to have done it beautifully, beautifully. really over the last two years of bringing it to where it's Yeah, it's today. been a passionate, it's been, uh, it's been fab fascinating from the start, you know. We could see the potential of this place where it was built, how beautiful this building is. It really is something special about it, you know. And uh, now, after all this work, all this time, and see it happen, it's just wonderful. It is an excitement, you know, it's, it's, it's a pride, you know. It's all the details, it was so much there. You know, the even features, from the town yeah. to, the, to, to, to everything, for the door, for the hinges, for everything, you know, mm -hmm. it's such a, a wonderful, and to get it back all into life and make it as a business and, 
and to mm. for Martin and Peter to give us the chance to do that for them. Yeah. This was, for us, we found it as a privilege. It, it's been a great, great adventure. Mm. Cheers. I thought I thought the speakers were uh, were great, and uh, I thought it went down it went down very well. It was great to have William Haig here. Um, it was great to have my daughter speaking, um, and to get the input from uh, from Visit Yorkshire put it sort of into in a context for me. So uh, no, I don't think it could have gone any better. Yeah, and I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with him, mate. Charles was the was the best speech by by a long shot. And, um, William Hague second. William Hague, William Hague second, and I think uh, you you were tying with David e equal third, mate. You know, so. Um, but I think I think the warmth of the speech as well. The, mm. the, the the speeches, you know, all the speeches. They they didn't to me feel rehearsed. They just felt natural. And and William Hague, who obviously completely off the cuff made some very good comments about about the hall and about the business and obviously about Yorkshire um, you know a, a well-tried speaker but no I think I think to me the speeches set the tone of the whole event well I'm just so pleased we've sort of stuck to our guns really we've done everything that we we've done everything the correct way mm. there's no shortcuts and I think that's the important philosophy of the hall moving forward that we do everything in the very best way we can. Mm. And I think that came across today uh, very much and that we are philosophy moving forward. So when you when you hire this place for your wedding or if you come and stay, it will be this quality. It won't be going down and then refurbished. It will yeah. be this quality yeah. of both the environment and uh, and the staff. And it's and just staff. and it's great to to give this old building uh, a new lease of life because what yeah. what has been set up here by Python Properties is um, sustainability for generations and generations to come yeah. and that's a very satisfying feeling yeah. and that, that certainly came across from the guests today you know how how much they appreciated all those things you've talked about the quality of the environment the quality of the finish the quality of the food um, I th I'm sure in their minds it'll be something that will be talked about you know um, a, a long time in the future and, and they will tell all their friends and everybody else and that and that will help uh, generate more business for, for us and for the whole. It will basically be like being hoteliers. Yeah absolutely I'm, I'm not a charter surveyor anymore I'm a hotelier. I'm not a merchant navy captain but <laughs> I'm a hotelier. <laughs> I'm sorry if they put it there. <laughs>